Hi guys, so you must be aware of the new pattern in Capgemini. Spoken English assessment has been added. And then they're asking founder, then if you have to find it out, so option two will be the correct answer. Hi guys, so you must be aware of the new pattern in Capgemini. Spoken English assessment has been added. This is very, very, very important. It is as important as your other rounds. So it does not matter if you clear round one, two, three confidently, right? If you do not clear the spoken English assessment, you will be up disqualified. So this is equally important uh, as your other rounds. And spoken English is equally important as your technical skills. Uh, now, I will be taking a live class from 7 to 8 p.m. today where I will give you tips and tricks and uh, discuss a bit of what are the possible things that might come in this particular round and how I can help you. I will address your problems with spoken English um, from 7 to 8 p.m. today on the online study for you app. So I will be taking the class. Now, we are also not sure of exactly what will be asked and how the assessment will be taken, right? Because it is the first time. So, uh, but we can always prepare the basics, right? So for spoken English, there are a few basic things that, the in that you know, we feel the interviewer will check. One is the level of confidence while speaking in English. Now, for those of you who are fluent in English, it is still fine. But for those of you who um, are, uh, have the fear of judgment, have the fear of making mistakes, like what if my accent is wrong? What if my uh, pronunciation is wrong? What if my grammar is wrong? For those of you who are so conscious because you haven't practiced English, because you don't have the right environment to practice and speak in English, and suddenly when you're in front of the interviewer, you forget everything, you, you're not able to fluently speak, how can we deal with this problem? I will try to give a few tips and tricks. One thing I would like to state that let's say that you do make mistakes. You do make mistakes, uh, grammatical mistakes, or you have an accent. Despite those mistakes, how can you confidently speak? That is very, very important. And that is something that the interviewer will definitely check. That even if someone is making mistakes, how is he able to share his opinion? How is he able to manage the team? How is he able to convey his uh, ideas and, and share his perspectives, right? So this is one thing that the interviewer will definitely check. Your level of confidence, your fluency. And uh, the other thing would be how well you articulate your thought process, right? not speaking like in in broken broken words the flow of thoughts should be there it should be like a flow chart which has an, a, a beginning to an end on any given topic and the topics might be quite simple usually for spoken english the topics are quite simple they're about your everyday life your work etc etc but how well you are able to articulate your thoughts and have it have a beginning and an end a good end and not speak abruptly and randomly that is very very important and that is something the interviewer will check um the next would be your tone right the clarity of your words uh some people think that speaking too fast will show that you're fluent this is incorrect speaking at a good tone where you can pronounce the words clearly is something that shows how confident you are Right, someone who's rushing too much shows that they're they're not confident. So this is something that you have to take care, keep in mind that you speak at a good pace, pronounce everything clearly, articulate everything clearly, use the right tone. Right, uh, you should not mumble like you should not mumble your words. Hello, sir. My name is Jila. I'm 25 years old. You should not mumble like that. You should open your mouth and speak. That is another thing that the interviewer will check because that shows your confidence in the language as well as uh, the confidence of your ideas. Um, the other thing is uh, about your body language and gestures. So nonverbal communication is a part of spoken English as well. How good you keep your face, like don't have wrinkles and a, a lot of stress, keep a good smile. I'm not saying 
to smile like that, but like keep a good smile, keep a pleasant face. Even if you have doubts, even if you're nervous, try to keep calm, try to breathe well. This is also very, very important. Again, something that the interviewer checks. So breathe well and uh, try to share what you have to slowly, nicely and sweetly, right? So uh, I, I would say that these are some of the tips that I can share. And the others, uh, you may definitely ask me a lot of doubts in class and I will address them. I will try to check what are the problems that you are facing because everybody faces different sorts of problems. I know that mother tongue influence is also a problem that most of us face because we live in different parts of India and uh, a lot of us have different accents, which is natural. But in spoken English assessment, this is one thing they check. And I, I have heard a lot of people get disqualified in other interviews because of their mother tongue accent and communication skills, right? So how can you speak even if you have that mother tongue accent? There are a few words, a few sounds that we all make mistakes in. It's never the entire language. Every region has its own sound, right? Like, for example, if you can pronounce s, sh, p, h, b, because these are the sounds that Indians usually make mistakes in. So if we can practice these sounds, then it is still fine. I know that it's not possible to, uh, uh, you know, be have an English accent overnight and we don't need it as well, right? But a few sounds I'm going to highlight that we can practice to correct this mother tongue influence. And this will be very helpful for you as well. So again, tone, clarity of voice. I'm just revising it a little. Gestures, nonverbal communication, your grammar, the way you speak, the way you articulate, your flow of words, how you articulate your thoughts and your fluency, of course, and the right pitch, whether you're speaking to... Uh, low or high or normally right so all of that will be checked uh, will be tested as far as I think uh, because these are the basics of spoken English generally and I'd like to say again that we don't exactly know the pattern but these are the basics that we can prepare for right so uh, now Pratik sir will be explaining the other rounds Hello everyone. So we will try to cover technical MCQ along with the concepts. So I request all of you to please watch the video till the end and answer the question by yourself first. So let us start with question number one. So founder of relational model for databases. Now here I will tell you some techniques with that you have to remember it. So you need founder, right? So founder of relational model for database. So if now we have four options and where is F? So option two, Edgar F. Cord, right? So the answer will be option two, Edgar F. Cord. Okay. Now, again, friends, uh, founder of relational model of database, D. So try to find out D. So W here, Stefan here, and here it is Cord, Cord. So at least you will be having two options left, option two and option four. And then they're asking founder, then F, you have to find it out. So option two will be the correct answer friends see all those things won't be much interesting but we have to make it interesting right okay now so let us you know understand few concepts before you go and attempt the questions otherwise see it's like questions and i'm telling okay uh, answer is three option two is correct option four is correct you won't be able to understand anything right okay so in database right so the first thing is data, right? So we have database, right? Database management system. We have relational database management system. So the first thing here comes is data. So data is nothing but raw facts and figures, right? So see, suppose if you have a restaurant, so how many people are working there? How many people are coming to eat there, right? So there is a, you know, the data that is what you're going to collect. So raw facts and raw facts and figures. Information. So when data is processed, it gives information, right? So when you process it, so this many people are working here, this many people are coming to eat here, right? This many people are ordering online. So when we have processed it, it becomes a information. Then what is database? You understood data, you understood information. What is database? So when we collect and organize the data, right? So when we collect and organize the data, right? Suppose 
you know uh, you you know write in this form so serial number right so serial number one two three and maybe the name right and all those things you're going to do so database when we collect and organize the data is called database right okay now so then what is database management system so database management system is basically a software used to create and manage database right see <clears throat> i mean it's a kind of a software which will help you you can create you can delete you can update right so whatever you can do you want uh, you can do it in the database right see earlier you you might have seen the library there will be a lot of books will be there someone will be there to you know uh, take it from here put it there right now everything is on internet right so now we are using the software so we can do everything on the internet itself using the software then relational database management system so data arranged in the tabular form rows and column right so that is what i was telling you so when your name and then address right and then age so when you are arranging them in a tabular form of rows and column right so you have this particular one will be rows and this particular one will be column so that is nothing but relational database management system okay now prints row has a different name so row will be also termed as tuples and column will be termed as attributes right okay so rtca so ca ca you know right so commerce students will become ca column means attribute and rt so rt you can you know see some way you can relate it you know if you're uh, ravina tandon so somebody will you know uh, ravina tandon rt is what ravina tandon row means tuples right somebody girlfriend name will be uh, something right so you can term them in that particular way so that you will be able to remember it okay so rows tuples ravina tandon and then columns means attribute ca then uh, we have the hierarchy okay so we have the hierarchy let us try to understand so bits right so when you will have multiple bits right so that will form a byte so you can search in google how many eight bits is one byte right so how many bytes will be filled right so that you can uh, anyway you can search in google for more information right now i will not take much time here because we have to solve the uh, questions also right so it will be like bit byte so this is the order this is the order means try to understand so the bytes no bytes will have bits right the bytes will have bits okay and then the fields so fields will have bytes so bytes or character you can say and then the records so the records will be having fields so many field will make a record and then uh files so many files will be i mean many records will make a file and many files will make a database so this is b b f r f d right so you can you know find out some kind of uh uh, you know term to remember like you know best right so best boyfriend right so best boy friend okay so best boyfriend something like that you can try to uh, remember it so b that means bit so anyway bit a small small bit will make byte then uh, byte will make fields and then fields will make records records will make files and many files will make database right so this is up to you how you uh, remember right okay now so database examples so in many places right so they will ask you what is database can you tell me some database right so friends this microsoft excel is a database because they have rows they have columns we store our data in the tabular form ms microsoft sql server is a database ibm ibm db2 is a database microsoft access is a database oracle has a database right mysql right so earlier we used to case sql so that is also a database sap spy base so a spy by so that is also a database so these are the examples of the database right okay now so we'll move to the question number two before that friends i just wanted to tell you so we have launched capgemini crash course based on the new pattern live plus recorded batches right so sir where is the live batch so you can see uh you know uh we have this live classes recording so we have started with technical mcqs i personally you know interact with the student to get the feedback of the courses like how is the course is going on and then we have you know uh essay writing we have data structures we have technical mcqs we have capgemini coding questions we have english communication because english spoken uh assessment is a mandatory and a elements round in capgemini so that also we have the new pattern database data structure uh codes are there right okay 
and also friends you can see today also we have a live session so if you go to our community post so here we will put so cap Germany 2024 spoken english assessment it's an elimination round and this will be only for the paid member right so live 7 pm so jheel ma'am uh, she is a communication expert because this is a mandatory and elimination round so it is very very important so please do attend the classes today at 7 pm and if you have not got the course get it now you can see the content we are also giving you live plus recorded which nobody will be giving you right okay fine so you have got the complete idea of that right so essay writing so we are telling you right so how to ace your essay writing essay writing one essay writing two so different different essays we are covering right so in one video two to three uh essays we are covering fine okay so get the link of the course will be in the description get it now and start your preparation then so friends a computer file contains several records what does each record contains right so you can see record so many field right so many field will make a record right so when you will have many fields that will make a records and records is also said as rows so here you can say a computer files contain several records what does each records contain so that is nothing but fields okay fine so see you don't have to remember you have to understand that's how it works right so that's why you have to remember this in a code format bbfr fd right so best boy friend right friend so best boy friend and then friend right okay so bit byte field record files database right so this is how you can remember it i mean in any way however you are comfortable right okay then friends then comes the acid properties in database and database keys so these are the two things which we have to keep in mind so acid atomicity consistency isolation and durability now what are the all, all those things that we will understand so atomicity friends so either the transaction happens or it doesn't right so I will tell you about a very simple example. So when you buy something right uh, from Amazon or Flipkart, right? So there will be only two things. Either the transaction will be successful or it will be failed, right? So that way you can keep in mind. So atomicity means either the transaction will happen or the transaction will not happen. Consistency. So means consistency means your database has to be consistent, right? So it's it should not be like it will change automatically. Otherwise, what is the meaning of database? So you have some data in the Excel sheet and you know after something i mean if you close or if you open and you see the you know some some of the data is deleted right or the some of the data has been interchanged so the consistency has to be there then isolation prints multiple transactions occurs right so uh, again with a simple example if you're buying something from amazon not only you are buying thousands of people are buying right so multiple transactions are happening but everyone transaction is successful we are basically able to place the order each and everything is happening so that is called as isolation and durability so successful transactions even system fails right so friends many time you will see that you will be getting a notification on amazon website that you know uh three minutes four minutes right so it will not even update right after the payment but you know once uh you close it and go and see so the transaction will be successful so durability means it will be durable right okay now friends then comes database keys so we have primary key we have candidate key we have foreign key and we have super key right okay so what is primary key so primary key is a primary key is a unique key right so suppose you know uh, you are in a uh, school or colleges then you will be having a roll number right so your roll number is 1181 right now that roll number 1181 roll number will be only one person so that is called as a primary key right so you can identify with the roll number that this is a unique key for a unique person right it cannot be duplicated right and it cannot be a null your roll number is null it's is it possible now right so this you have to keep in mind that primary key will be a unique key it cannot be duplicated and it cannot be null then candidate key right friends see you should understand something in such a way that you don't forget it easily right see I, if i just tell you so key to represent relationship between the tables so if i tell you okay so uh, the answer is option four will you understand no right but when i explain you like what is primary key now what is candidate key so a single column or a combination of column right so uh suppose if we have a database here okay and now we have roll number right 
and then we have age okay then we have address some the information is there so a single column so this particular is a candidate key right so row number one two three right okay or a combination of column so age and address is nothing but a candidate key right is nothing but a candidate key right so this is my column and rows will be like this okay fine so that is candidate key so candidate key c for candidate right and c for column right so candidate key will have columns right will have single column or multiple columns then foreign key friends foreign key uh, means basically so it's a kind of reference from one table to another table right so suppose you have two table table one and table two now in table one if you have roll number one one eight one right okay and i'll just give you one see i will try to give you some example it might not be very much correct with respect to the database but you will have a picture in your mind okay so suppose this is you know your roll number is 1181 now uh, you are getting free food and you are getting pre books so this is for food and this is for book right okay so suppose two tables are there now so this roll number reference only will be here okay that means what will happen so once they mark it here that roll number 1181 had the food now give him the book so somewhat you are giving the reference in the other table right so the foreign key is the column of the table which is used to point to the primary key right so basically this will take the reference from the primary key right or you are giving the reference to the different table right so that's the reason if you see this question so key to represent relation between tables so when we have multiple tables right so which key will be used foreign key so foreign key taking the reference from india right some indian student is so that way also you can understand so we have a indian student right so we have data of that student in india and then he is in foreign right so this foreign will be taking the reference from the this indian right so if he is indian or not what is the passport all those things so that is nothing but foreign key okay then super key so group of single or multiple key which identifies rows see for column we have candidate and for rows we have right so rows we have super key you know rs right you know rs rs royal stays right at least guys will be knowing so uh, this might be the in your college uh, this royal stack 8 pm so all where save us basically so royal stack so super keys will be related with rows super keys will be related with rows right so group of singular multiple keys group of singular multiple keys which identify rows in a table right okay fine now next question so question number four so rdbms terminology for a row so what i had told ravina tandon right ravina tandon she was there in uh, kgf right so kgf 2 so ravina tandon so row is nothing but tuples row is nothing but tuple right row is nothing but tuples right so i would like you to give some terminology to remember it so in my mind it came ravina tandon what comes in your mind please let me know in the comment section right okay now uh question number five which of the following is a popular software that support dbms right okay so if you go back here uh we had some examples so microsoft excel microsoft access right uh so these are microsoft sql server so these are the database examples from microsoft right okay so which of the following is a popular software that support dbms so we have microsoft access right we have microsoft access right okay so that's popular software that supports dbms okay now friends which of the following is the property of transactions that protects data from the system failure right so which of the following is the property of transactions that protects data from system failure so data from system failure so here you can see system is when the system fails and then also successful transactions that is nothing but it's durable right so durability is there right consistency means it will preserve right it will preserve the state isolation means multiple transactions happening in happening simultaneously 
atomicity means either the transaction will happen or it will fail right okay but protecting the data right when the system fails is nothing but durability right so which of the following is the property of transaction that protects data from the system failure that's the reason it will be consistent also now so the attribute which is primary key should have its value never changed right uh, so the attribute which is primary key should have its value never so primary key values right so primary key about three things i had told you it will be unique right it will be unique like roll number 1181 right and then i told it will it cannot be duplicated that also i told you and then i told you it, the value cannot be null so the attribute which is the primary key should have its value never changed right so it will be unique right it will not change fine and now question number eight so the part of database design linked to the logical design right so logical design uh the part of database design linked to the logical design so we have options here schema relations and entry definitely entry means you are going to do some entry so out of a schema and relation well will be the answer and i wanted you to put the put in the comment section right okay now so friends uh for daily live classes for a lot of recorded contents right so we are also providing the pdfs here of each and every classes right so if you go and check for the content right so technical mcq so you can see computer network nodes cloud nodes right and then you can see dbms uh you know classes pdf uh dbms all the pdfs should be there okay so dbms one two three live class pdf right algorithm question so you are getting a lot of content sufficient to crack the examination and we are not stopping here right we are not stopping here we are you know continue doing that so the live classes today also we have a live class and i don't want anyone to miss it and do like the postman if i am putting something for you guys okay thank you take care all the very very best